Hello everybody, this is Crimson Chino, and welcome to episode 3 of The Walking Dead Part 1, A New Day. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, actually, I'm not really... I should probably look up on that. Anyways, um, last time, we found a little girl. I died to a babysitter. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, and then I came back to life, because game logic. Uh, and then we helped some two farmers, I think. I think that's what they are. Get out, hitchhike with them, and uh, now we're going to wherever they're taking us. So, let's continue. Episode 3. That moon looks funky. Oh, there was a moon. Are we gonna hit another zombie? Nope. Good. I think. I hope not. <laughs> Why would a farmer have like white? That blue truck has like fire waves that's you know painted white. But why would they have that? Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No run sweat, man. Home. I'll catch you tomorrow night. He's loud. It was nice to meet you both. Run on home. I I'm just saying, this is a farm with acres of land. How are you just gonna walk home on this type of condition? The zombie's gonna Thank eat God you. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Little breaking down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Or us. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Sounds kind of. Do that sounds actually really bad. Yes. Ah, she trusts me. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Kind of uh, yeah. It it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. <laughs> you take a seat on the porch now. Ah. <sighs> Why'd you shake Let's your head? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's been open for. It could be. It could, it could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. My name's. Yeah. How'd this happen? I'm not gonna lie. Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Heading home. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We Macon. hit a guy. One of those things you've been I'm hearing a bacon about. Boy. On the road. Be Who are you with? Bacon, the making, girl. making some bacon. <laughs> making some bacon and making, making more bacon. I'll be with officer. the police officer. Oh, Don't think. He was giving me a ride. <laughs> I hate how they get time that. <laughs> Oh, I'm man. an awful nice guy. Awful House nice is guy. full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest we there. We just said it wasn't my daughter. Here. Man, me. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't yeah, imagine no. what you've been through, Clementine. I forgot what I was going to say. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That oh, doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows like, oh, He said shit? Oh my god! Your, Your son's, son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. You can't really. do those chores if I you're already dead. said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? 
we'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh my gosh, she had a smile. That girl had a smile on her face. We'll clean just, it, redress it, so and you'll scared. be fine. And she's like, oh my okay, god, you're such an ass. Preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Don't think she likes it. Come anything. tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. To Macon, to Macon, to Macon, some bacon, some bacon, making some bacon. All right, then. <laughs> She's sorry. It's kind of catchy, making some bacon, man. It's actually really, really catchy. We're not... Oh, well, I it guess they are. It smells asleep. like... It smells like... Shh. Don't cuss, because she's going to go... <gasps> Manure? Like when a horse plops? It, I don't like think that. it plops, because, I mean, a horse goes... Pop, 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 you know, when it, like, you know, I miss gallops. my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? I wish Pretty I could tell far. you. I don't know oh, where Savannah is. Okay. I feel bad for the little girl. Oh man. I don't like that music. I love you, baby. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dang man, what the hell you be dreaming? You gonna go straight back? You gonna go right back? How do you go? I I'm just saying, when I have a nightmare, it's gonna take a long time before I go back to sleep. I think I just hey, knocked out. Up. Who are you? <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, not, I'm uh, not her dad. Do I really look that much? I'm like Kenny. Her? Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and hey, everything. Freckle boy. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? 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 Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, water you know? Off a duck's That's a valuable back. treat lately. No I... kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> wow. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. You can't just make it up. <laughs> The word is you were on your way to Macon. Macon, so well, Macon's from there. <laughs> well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. How do you know I do that? I'll ask the girl. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. 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 That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! That doesn't seem Duck like a good idea. I can Remember. keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Remember, that guy's as dumb as a freaking bag of hammers. Let's see. Talk. Hey there, girls. You two, you two actually, actually look, look relaxed. relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how was that? Grade. It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> she's, a, she's a smart. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Yeah. There's a door over there. There's a door. Oh, I can't move my mouse. Oh. What's so, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. Ah, Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, my, my mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. There's another door! I, oh, God damn, I can't move. It's, but it's like right behind the shoulder right there. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, How would you... just. Oh man. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to uh... go home tomorrow. 
But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Doc seems fine. He's all... I want to get back to the moment before we knew about all of this. Who wouldn't? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. A man like him saying those things, I don't understand why. I don't understand. I don't really understand how the hell he killed someone. Uh, I don't really know the story, so I'll figure that out later. I hey guess. there, uh, Kenny. Do you need any need help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Ah, right, man. Do you need any help? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. Hey, man, you, know you mind your doing? own business. You got kids of your own? That's messed up, man. I mean, I'm okay. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Her parents aren't I'll showing up. I'll keep that in mind. I'll be a good father. You need to worry about your own How's son. How's your son doing? Good, I Speaking think. Speaking of which... Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought know he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Ain't nothing gonna phase that doc, I'll tell you that. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we That's could hop on my boat, I guess. Every You've got a boat. Freaking. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Every zombie game says that the government's gonna do something, and it turns out the government ain't gonna do nothing. Or the government is the one making the zombie. Or something like that. This is just, there's so many zombie games like that, man. I just have a bad feeling about that. See. Oh, should, should I look at the tractor? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a that critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. bad idea. I'm you dead. better hope this tractor doesn't have any oil on it. Uh. Man, you better hope and talk to him. How you doing, Duck? Good. No, no, no. Why I'm would you? Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You better hope that boy doesn't. Ooh. Talk. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh, was the boy one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Oh, man. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Sometimes, Sometimes kill or be killed. it's kill or be killed. Twice I killed zombies just because I had to. I don't to. think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Yeah, you're How about yours? So How's your family? My family. My bacon. Are in Macon. Macon. <laughs> hope. Making some oh, bacon. Man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Alright, man. Your call. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. Mm -hmm. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. I, mean, I anyway, did help you get you out. see my dad around. He might want some help in the barn. There's your dad. Okay, well, before I head over to his dad, um, 
that's gonna be i'm gonna have to say that for the next episode because i'm all out of time uh thank you guys for watching this is episode three of the walking dead part one episode four is gonna be coming out soon so please stay tuned subscribe like this video if you like it and uh yeah thank you very much